Good morning, hello. It is London to Brighton weekend. I sort of semi carb loaded yesterday. It's funny how time has changed, isn't it? Last, last year I was carb loading for a bodybuilding show. This year I'm carb loading for a cycle. So I think I had about six, five or 600 grams of carb yesterday. I have about 800 to 900 today. Very gentle gym session this morning. It's 20 past nine. Do a little bit of core, a little bit of triceps. Just get the blood pumping a little bit. Jack Forburn, a uh, Insight Subs fellow athlete, said that this may be one of the best pre-workouts that he's tasted. Mm, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Bit of a connoisseur when it comes down to the taste of pre-workouts. Back on the Naughty Boy. I thought, I haven't had any Naughty Boy in a long time, but per 14 gram scoop, is about 350 milligrams of caffeine, which is a lot for me. So, I will have about eight grams. It's usually the sweet spot that I have for, uh, I need to play the Breaking Bad music when doing this. Took two grams out of that on instinct. Russell Brand joke. Is this up there with one of the best tasting pre-workouts? The best tasting pre-workout in my opinion is probably the Total War Sour Gummy. Naughty Boy Mango is also very good. I won't lick the spoon because then I'll know what it tastes like. Quite a weak Coca-Cola smell. That is like for like the Coca-Cola ice poles that you used to get from school for like 10 or 15p. With a very small hint of cherry. Kicks in right at the end. Nice. Mmm. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so today we are shooting for around about 10 grams. <sighs> Sometimes the tingles get a little bit too much. Sometimes, I'm... Um, <sighs> today we're gonna go for 10 grams of carbs per kilo, which is like slap bang in the middle between what's recommended, usually eight to 12 grams per kilo. I haven't weighed myself in some time, so I presume I'm about mid 80s, just based on my current kind of look every morning when I look in the mirror, and that's not really changed much. So shooting for about eight to 850 carbs today. On the bike tomorrow, I ideally want anywhere between 30 to 50 grams of carbohydrates per hour. So I picked up some HR Labs, which is their cyclidectrin, glycosides, and taurine as well. I'm also gonna add a scoop of supplement needs electrolytes to those bottles. So I've got two holders on my bike, and then We'll go hold on about and just get some gels, just for if we need them. I don't want to be wearing a bag tomorrow. But I don't know what time is realistic, if I'm being completely honest with you. Is your result is always right, and up ditching and beacon and we're off, so, oh, should be fun. Feels quite weird loading again, without the objective of looking a certain way. Years of bodybuilding have allowed me to understand what works well with my body when it comes down to digestion. So carbohydrate sources, got some brown flakes and some berries, got a couple of rice crispy square bars. Anything rice based is, is usually quite optimal for digestion. Four bagels with jams and orange juice and then protein sources on the low tend to be egg whites, whey protein and chicken, maybe fish, something that's easy to digest. Tend to steer clear from, from red meats when I'm loading. People like to also pull their protein intake down ever so slightly. If you are quite lean and having high carbs, then you may want something like a peanut butter or a slightly higher fat to, to help blunt that insulin spike so it's not straight up and straight down. I'm not very lean at the moment, so I don't need to really worry about that too much because I've got a nice about amount of body fat on me. Okay, it's 12 o'clock and I have this now. Also walk the dog or have some expenditure after quite a lot of carbohydrates. Don't like just laze about, kind of just, even if it's cleaning for five or 10 minutes, just try and stay a little bit active. So I'll go and walk and then I think the boys here go down the pub.
I'll have a glass of orange juice and not a beer. Last time me and Guns came into this woods here, there was a lady like, of a horror film in a, in a white gown. And we were both scared. What is another thing we need to take into consideration when carbohydrate loading? The clue is in the chemical name of carbohydrates. C-H-O. Correct, water. Carbohydrates require water to get into the muscle. So just make a conscious effort when you are loading to increase your intake a little bit. I'm usually a three litres to four kind of guy per day. So I tend to shoot for five to six on a load. And uh, that's all from us in the forest. I'm gonna go to Bromley now and get some SIS carbohydrate gels. What we got here, we've got apple, pineapple, go pineapple. Pineapple is just a goaty flavour. And I'm gonna grab one with 75 meg of caffeine for a little hit towards the end. 22 carb, zero fat, 75 mg caffeine. Do you like my dance move? I learned them myself. Second meal of the day we have Prawns, as I mentioned about the fish being a nice, easy to digest, light on the stomach protein sauce. Prawns in a Thai red curry sauce and some jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is pretty like ideal for digestion. A couple of rice krispies, uh, a couple of rice cakes. Probably thinking that's not a lot of carbohydrates, Tom. You wait till you see what I've got after this. Talk to me about French fancies. Don't actually beat it, do you? Do you know what I'm watching at the moment? The Boys on Amazon. It is blinding, I love it. Tom, are you gonna eat all those French fancies? <laughs> What's the sky blue? Final meal of the day, we've got a hefty bowl of pasta. 200 grams with a full, like, garlicky bread in the oven, that's 100 grams of carbs, which puts me on about 750, and then I'm gonna have uh, the rest of the crumpets and jam. And that'll be me done for the day. Oh shit. This is a snapshot of my nutrition as it sits today, which allows me to train the way I train, look the way I look, and facilitate social situations and maintaining the relationships that I want to outside of my professional life. Good morning everyone, it is cycle ride day, London to Brighton. I'm number 1277, seven. remember that? I'm about to break the London to Brighton cycle record. Got my orange socks on. Orange jersey, wear orange for Azalea. Pick this one up from Sirocco. Lovely. Just had a big bowl of oats this morning. Some dark chocolate. My usual Sunday cycle breakfast. Having some caffeine. My old man should get in about 15 minutes then we're driving to Clapham. And then one of the boys is driving, well, a few of the boys are driving down to Brighton, which is good. So I'll get a lift back with him. Let's go. What's up? Two hours in, on track to grab the yellow jersey at the end of this. Very good. All done, three hour 44, I think it was. Bitchin' in Beacon. Bitchin' in Beacon, yeah. I've made it my bitch. Everyone getting off pushing. Is it a cycle ride or a push ride? Banana and a Mars bar, wait for the boys to come and grab some brekkie. There is nothing better on God's green earth than a deeply cleaned house, a deeply cleaned body, fresh loungewear, and all the food. You cannot beat it. We'll have a little recap of how the cycle went after I've eaten. What we are eating is, it's my go-to Domino's order. The nachos, the tangy salsa dip and the nachos, amazing. I should really get the jalapenos, but. Chicken strips, strippers, seven, accompanied with large big dip. Can't, can't be. 
dipping the little 25 gram one. And then pizza at the moment I'm having from Domino's is the burger. Ugh. It's like a Big Mac on a pizza base. The key with this one, because a few people say, oh Tom, I've had the barbecue, I've had the burger pizza, but I didn't like it. I said, what base did you go for? I said, tomato. So that's where you went wrong, my friend. You need a barbecue base. You need to change it from tomato. Not good tomato. Oh my god. The gherkins, the beef, the burger sauce. Mm. Do you have a little London to Brighton recap? My 88 kilometers slightly overshadowed this weekend by Fergus's 7.6k swim, 373 k cycle, and just a couple of marathons chucked in at the end. Just a couple of marathons. Fergus. I love the bloke. I absolutely love the bloke. The amount of inspiration that I draw from him. Double brutal. Double extreme iron distance triathlon completed. 40 hours, 53 minutes. It's absolutely insane, mate. I definitely think the last few weeks have cemented what I want to do with myself well, for the rest of my life. But in terms of like physicality and like physical fitness goals, I feel very comfortable. I feel very happy in this new environment. I really do. London to Brighton bike ride itself was uh, was very enjoyable, it was smooth, no issues at all. <clears throat> Started cramping up around about mile 30. I think I mismanaged my hydration and fluid intake a little bit. I thought I had downstairs supplement needs electrolytes and I didn't and uh, could have probably got away with more carbohydrates on the actual cycle. I only had two 20 carb sachets and two 20 carb drinks and I think I could definitely push the a higher amount across the three hours and 44. I wanted a sub four hour, just based on speed and timings. I wanted sub four, sub four hour and I got three hour 44, but now I know the route, definitely think I could smash a better time, which is cool. But really enjoyable, got to Clapham at about 6.15. Very foggy on Sunday, really foggy to begin with. Ooh, it was nice, it was like running near Christmas, got me excited for Christmas, but yeah. Started 6.30, no, no, uh, no interruptions straight through. Ditchling Beacon was tough. It was the first time I've ever experienced a hill like that. Just attack it though. My dad's a, uh, my dad's a cyclist and I grew up on watching Tour de France and they was like, always attack the hill. But yeah, Ditchling was, Ditchling was more psychological hard because you hit the incline and it'd flatline a little bit and you, uh, am, I, am I done? Am I still going? And then it'd go up again and it'd flatline. I think, oh, just head down. It took me about 11 or 12 minutes to put things into like context, it was like doing a 12 minute max intensity assault bike, like non-stop. It was, it, was, it was quite tough. But what I'm noticing now with all the conditioning work that we've been doing over the last four to five weeks is my ability for my heart rate to get back down to pretty much baseline when doing a, a form of expenditure is crazy. Like that's, it's, this is 100% the fittest I've been in all of my life. Even pre bodybuilding, this is most definitely the fittest I've been, and there's like there's still still a huge amount of room to go. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely do it next year. Great cycle. The views once you got up into Brighton were stunning. Absolutely stunning. Lovely little ride. Next year, what have we got planned? So training is now fixed for. High Rocks, me and Jade Packer have booked in for Mane. High Rocks, end of January 2023. So we've got about 18 weeks. So between now and we're gonna do like a 12 week pretty intense block, meet up and do High Rocks specific training once a week with Jade, which should be good. But I've got about four weeks before that starts. So it's just, again, trying to improve, increase aerobic capacity, kind of get, uh, get the head around that particular event because it is going to be brutal like it's eight 1, 1k runs with work in between and even from like experienced uh, high rocks athletes they're like you've got to prepare for this one adam collard's doing the same one we're doing mixed doubles so it should be good be nice to have that kind of element of competitiveness but uh yeah high rocks then in feb we've got like a 10k winter run just a few of the boys april london to paris we should be good, really excited for that one. London Duathlon, September, another London to Brighton. So yeah, just mapping out what we wanna do for the next year and mate, 
loving it. Very, very excited, very happy in this space. It's really, yeah, it's really, it's really cool. It's, and it's really nice and quite endearing to see others that are kind of transitioning into this world as well. It's, it, it's really good. I'm noticing a lot of the clients are kind of more open to suggestion for cardio change to more condition and kind of educating them on, on this sort of stuff is really, is, is as equally as rewarding. So yeah, in a good spot. Right, I'm gonna leave you, uh, I'm gonna leave you there. Next video, we've got how to functional. So I'll run through kind of what encapsulates functional fitness, a little bit of a, an understanding how to program a session. That is on the whiteboard, so that'll be out on Monday. I'm gonna go and uh, convince myself that I need a Cervelo bike. Because like, now I'm in it, now I'm like, yeah. Need a better bike. Nothing wrong with that one, by the way. Could easily continue on that, but you know what I'm like. Yeah. Sevilla. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, good night. Much love.